As you can see, there's something very, very different about my PRS SE Custom 24. We have a new set of pickups from Missing Link Audio. These are the Mason Dixon Peacock set. In my hand here, we have the original pickup. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about why I replaced the pickups in this guitar, and also a little bit about how these sound in comparison, as well as some live samples also. I'll leave time codes in the description below. Let's do it. Alright, so here it is. This is the PRS SE Custom 24 with the new pickups. I think this looks like a brand new guitar in my opinion. It looks very different to the stock pickups. Now you might be saying, hey, how come you put new pickups in the SE Custom 24? So Missing Link Audio sent these out for a review months ago, but because the shops were shut, I didn't get a chance to have them installed. I wanted them done properly and professionally, and I'm not that guy. So yeah, it was much easier for me to handball this off. Now I kept the old pickups just in case I didn't like these humbuckers, but there's not a chance I'm going back to those unless I end up selling this guitar, which isn't gonna happen either. I love this thing, this guitar is fantastic, but if I ever do move it on, I'll be keeping these pickups because I'll end up putting them in something else, no doubt about it. But the guitar itself now sounds great. Now I had a chance to play this live last night. One of the great things about it now is the fact that I can stack on an overdrive and a volume boost, turn down and it's gonna sound beautifully clean. Turn it up, it can handle all the drive you throw at it, and it will also retain the top end clarity. It never gets muddy or does anything weird. So these pickups are a bigger upgrade over the old ones or the original ones. One of the great things about this guitar now is I've also had the push-pull pot removed. Got rid of that, new pots, new switch, new pickups. Almost feels like a new guitar. The only small downside is it's currently got nines on here, which are way too thin for me. So I'm gonna replace the strings after this video. Let's take a look. Now, have you ever been on the Missing Link Audio website? You know they're a huge fan of the Dwayne Allman tones from the 1970s. That's what these are based on. These are built to that type of spec found in Dwayne Allman's guitar. Now, I can't play a lot of that style of music, but what I can tell you is they've got all the clarity in the world. One of the things it says on their website is when you turn down, it has that cello-like clarity and just beautiful sustain, which it does. The neck pickup on a lot of humbuckers is the one that I avoid a lot when I solo, but on this, you get all the top end and you can throw as much gain at it as you like. 
and it's still gonna sound nice and clear, which is weird because you think gain, it's gonna get muddy, but it doesn't. You get more drive, but it also sounds very, very clean, and the bridge pickup totally rocks. It's a really great sounding bridge pickup, and it just makes playing, I don't know, it just pokes out nicely in the mix. I really dig it. Let's talk a little bit about the technical specifications now, starting with the bridge pickup. This has a DCR rating of 16.5K, and the neck pickup has a DCR rating of 11.5K. Now, if you're gonna be using these pickups in a Les Paul, instead of a PRS, for example, you have the option of using a one meg audio taper potentiometer in both volume positions. And this will allow the pickups to basically get the most out of them in terms of the top end frequency and just overall dynamics. The magnets in these pickups are correct formulated two and three Alnico magnets, we also get nickel silver covers, which look absolutely beautiful, minus my thumbprints on there right now. Damn, I tried cleaning them too. <laughs> if you follow my Instagram, odds are you may have seen this box a little while back as a photo. This was the box the pickups came in. It also came with some new old stock capacitors, which are also installed in the instrument. Now, if you know the channel, you know I don't do a lot of pickup reviews. One of the main reasons why is because I'm really happy with the tones out of all of my guitars. The PRS SC was probably the only one I would be willing to give this a shot in, and I kept these just in case I didn't like these. Let's take a listen in the live mix. As you can hear, in the context of a live mix, it sounded great. No matter how much drive I threw at it, it still had that clarity, which is what I love. I turn down, it cleans up beautifully, I turn up, it still sounds clear, but it has a lot of drive behind the sound and it handles it no problems at all. So a massive thank you to Mark from Missing Link Audio for upgrading this PRS SE Custom 24. I actually had the job done of this at Sky Music because I wanted it done right the first time. So Alex, thank you for doing this, mate. I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, they, this just sounds great. And like I said, there's no reason to upgrade if you're already happy with your pickups, but if you're looking for a great set of pickups that will make a difference, not only in this guitar, but in any humbucker guitar, give these guys a look. They make some really great stuff. Links will be in the description below. Catch you soon. See ya.